Welcome to Lady Mary Bath. I will share with you two fun DIYs to add panache to a baby shower, gender reveal, or a sip and see. We will make baby booty nut cups and pacifier party mints. You will need four items to make the baby booty nut cups. Cotton balls, preferably the Wilton brand party cups that are 1.4 inch diameter, tissues, and a ribbon of choice. I have placed the tissue flat on the table lengthwise, and I will take one of the two nut cups required for each baby booty, place it slightly off center towards the back point, Take two medium cotton balls, fluff them together a bit, place it in front of the nut cup with more of the tissue. And now I will begin folding in the tissue into the first nut cup over the cotton balls, just like this. It's quite easy. And then we will take the second nut cup and nestle it inside. And now we have the base for our booty. Then we will take the ribbon, which I have pre-measured, which is always a good idea if you're making multiples, and I will place it on the back, and this serves to cover the two nut cups coming together. And then we will just make a pretty little bow for the little girl's booty. And of course, if this is for a little boy, you can choose maybe a blue or green, or you could go with the party theme colors. And for a gender reveal, you could do a little bit of both and keep them guessing. So now I'll just tie that ribbon and we will have a sweet little shoe. Isn't that fun? You will need three items for the pacifier party mints. We'll start out with two of the Lifesaver mints per pacifier. So make sure that you buy enough. I usually buy the peppermint. They also offer it in winter green and they're individually wrapped. So you'll have to unwrap those and a jelly belly color of your choice. A lot of stores have by the pound where you can choose a color or a flavor. And this happened to be easy for me because it's all pink bubblegum flavor. And to make everything go together, we have the Wilton white icing. Here we have one jelly belly and two party mints. So let's take our Wilton icing to assemble. And I always do this in two steps. First, I work on the top of the pacifier. So I'm going to dot a little bit of the icing. You can be generous. And I will nestle it in with the Lifesaver logo on bottom. So make sure that's the smooth side and place the jelly belly here. And what I do is I put them all in a tray and freeze them for probably 20 to 30 minutes. That way you can do part two. Okay, now this has been in the freezer and we will have the final step. It doesn't matter which side because the icing is gonna go on the end of the Lifesaver. So it doesn't matter which way the logo is showing because you can determine later how you place it. So a generous glob of the icing and then we will nestle it right in here. It's almost like glue. And place these on the same tray back in the freezer and store until you are ready to serve for the party. And I do recommend that you place these last minute and not to serve outside because of the heat and humidity. They are a little bit sensitive and everyone enjoys them. They are such fun, even just to display on a silver platter. The baby booty cups are so fun. You could place chocolate covered almonds or cashews, mixed nuts, a variety of items. And it's an unexpected treat for guests. And I find that they usually take this home. They don't leave it on their plate. I have placed these on a silver platter. They also show well on a tiered server. You could actually flip these. I have also displayed these as little soldiers lined up on a silver platter and they look great. It's nice because you could actually mix the colors. If you had a two color party theme or you wanted a patterned ribbon and maybe have a solid so that it's not too much. It's versatile and creates interest for your party. I hope that you enjoyed learning these tips the next time that you host an event like this. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Bath. Get inspired to find simple ways to beautify your life and baby shower.
Thanks for joining Lady Mary Beth. Please hit like and subscribe. I hope to see you next time for more lifestyle tips.